Hey everyone, today I'm here with Megan and we are doing a photo shoot in beautiful Dorigo. Today I have the XCD 90mm f2.5 lens from Hasselblad and we're going to be testing this out for portrait photography today. So let's go. Cropping it like just kind of here. Love that. Oh my god, this looks so beautiful. Today I'm using the 90V f2.5 lens on the Hasselblad X2D 100C camera body and I'm going to share with you my impressions of this lens and share lots of unedited 100% crops of the photos we're taking so you can see all the details. Yeah, I love that on your shoulder. You could even bring it like over your cheek so it's kind of on your face because I'm getting a bit of a closer up shot. Would you mind walking over to that rock there? We'll try and get like a full body shot with your reflection. I think that one, the next one over, yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. I can see just like your feet and the bottom of the skirt reflected in the water, but it looks so cool. Oh my God. The reflection. Today's model is Megan and Dan is filming this behind the scenes. I'm not gonna lie, this was a bit of a difficult photo shoot to do. Oh, that looked nice when you like Flick the skirt, that looks so pretty. We all traveled to this beautiful part of New South Wales called Dorigo. It's a stunning location with lots of waterfalls and mountains and amazing Australian forests. It is just my luck though that the days we were all there, it was pretty much raining the whole time. We're going up to the Manuka waterflowers. So I wanna get some shots with them. Also, this face tracking is a game changer makes it so much easier. There's that nice little bunch there. Maybe you could stand in between those two branches. Can you take a little step that way? Actually, Megan and I have now done a few photo shoots featuring water, so I think that's just our thing. And then do you want to try crouching there as well? Oh, that's so pretty. And it is so nice having a team that can all work together like this to still create amazing results, even though the elements were not really on our side. As you can see, we have a super rocky terrain that we are working with and with the sprinkling of rain we were getting on and off, it made all the rocks extremely slippery. Even on a sunny day, we would have to be very careful walking around to make sure we are safe, but on a day like today, we all had to move even more slowly and more carefully. But that is in a way all part of the fun of being an on-location photographer. I personally love doing adventure shoots like this and I really wanted to do something special for this photo shoot. Anyway, back to the camera equipment. One of the most standout updates to the X2D 100C that I am utilizing for today's portrait session is Face AF. I actually preferred it down there when you before you got up. Yeah, yeah, just there, yeah. Because then your head's like behind the tree line rather than against the white sky. I am so, so excited to have this feature now and it couldn't have come at a better time than this photo shoot. It's so convenient having the camera take control of the focus point in some situations to make capturing movement more accessible or so you can pay more attention to your subject and environment, which I definitely needed to do today. With Face AF, the camera will recognize when there is a face in the frame and it will automatically move the focus point there. I found it worked extremely well as I had plenty of images with critical focus, which is especially impressive considering the elements and the amount of movement we had going on in each of our photos. Should we do one where you could get like maybe the water in the background might be cool? Yeah. yeah. You could potentially like sit here on that rock. Yeah, that, would that be might be cool. cool. And then you got like that the branch water. too. Yeah, I found a little composition that can work where you can see the waterfall in the background and then also the Manuka branch hanging over. The sun's coming up. I just saw it in the reflection of the water. Oh, that looks so cool. Please note I am using a beta firmware version supplied by Hasselblad for testing and I personally had no issues with it. Now that you've seen a few example photos, let's talk about the lens. The 90V is the perfect lens for portrait photography with its medium telephoto range and large aperture of f2.5. It is the full frame focal length equivalent of 71 millimeters. This lens weighs 551 grams, which made it easy to walk around with on location, and it felt great in my hands paired with the X2D to take photos in this run and gun setup. 
Whether I was making use of Face AF or using my own focus point, the 90V is consistently fast to acquire focus. Focusing is super sticky, making it very easy to get critical focus, even if a subject is moving. Are you able to hug both your knees? This is especially important with a large aperture lens like this, as the focus area is going to be very thin. So you need that precision in order to be able to achieve sharp images. I know typically you would see a camera body like the X2D in a photography studio, but with the addition of Face AF, this new smaller and lighter portrait lens, and the 90V being a lens that is fast at acquiring focus, you can absolutely use this setup in a fast-paced environment. I was just looking, there's like a little rock platform just up there. Yeah. Maybe I could get like a wide angle shot yeah. of you standing, walking kind of thing. <laughs> okay. I That's cute. Talk. Megan, let me take a photo of you too. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and then like looking up would be nice. Maybe you could like sit just here on the corner facing that way. That looks so pretty there. The sharpness of this lens is also stunning, especially paired with the 100 megapixel files of the X2D. I love how crisp the photos are and how dreamy the out of focus area looks. This lens has that 3D pop look to the images, which I think is a really special characteristic for a portrait lens. By the way, when you see a dog running around, that's Muggen, who actually found some good photo spots for me. While I was taking photos of Megan, Muggen would go and stand somewhere, which would make me realize that's a great spot to move to next for another photo. So thank you, Muggen. <laughs> While this lens is very sharp, it has a beautiful rendering for portraits. I love the amount of detail you can see and the out of focus transition area is so smooth. Oh, Megan. Yeah, trying to get a shot of Megan where she's like all surrounded with the Manuka. Trying to get it in the foreground and the background as well. And we have the river in the back too, which looks so cool. You will have probably noticed by now that I did take some portraits at f2.8 instead of keeping the lens wide open at f2.5 the whole time. While I did have the control ring set to aperture and click switched on, it is quite a faint feeling. So while we were at a location which is quite loud, there's rain and I'm concentrating on not slipping on the rocks, I didn't notice sometimes when I accidentally changed my aperture. Should we like crouch maybe on the edge of that rock and I can get that river in the background? Wow! This lens features a focus ring and a customizable control ring which out of the box is set to aperture control. The control ring can be declicked and you can change between AF and MF by pushing and pulling the focus ring. This lens features a leaf shutter that can reach a shutter speed of up to 1 over 4000 and is able to sync at all flash speeds. We have an aperture range of f2.5 to f32, a minimum focus distance of 67 centimeters, and it has a 72 millimeter filter thread. <laughs> Do you want to try, maybe like you can kind of hug yourself there? We could just shoot here forever. forever. I really wish it didn't start raining, but it's probably the only thing that's going to stop me from like, which that's going to get me to finish shooting. <laughs> so Megan's going down to the waterfall. We'll hopefully find a spot for her to sit. And then I'm gonna go down to the other side and take a shot of her sitting in the waterfall. Hopefully she'll be surrounded by water. So cool! That looks amazing! And with like the compression of this lens, oh, it looks so cool. The bucket of this lens is really nice. Here are some examples at different apertures I took on a sunnier day. As you can see in the photos throughout this photo shoot, this lens also has really standout background to foreground separation. It's that 3D pop that I was talking about. There is also no chromatic aberration that I could find either. The colors straight out of camera are great as well. I did mention this in my last Hasselblad video, but the color science in this camera system is impressive. 
I purposely chose a location which I know would be tricky to work with in terms of color. We have so much green and not much to use as a natural reflector, which can easily alter Megan's skin tones, but the colors straight out of camera look absolutely beautiful. So much so that I didn't want to alter those colors too much with my editing, as you can see in the before and afters. Like if you rest on your arm? Yeah. <laughs> Stand there, or we could get like some shots here. Yeah. It's so pretty. Oh, that looks so cool. Overall, I am so impressed with this 90V lens. I would say it's my favorite portrait lens I've tried for the Hasselblad system so far. The improvements in autofocus made this an extremely enjoyable setup to shoot with, and the system was able to help me throughout a tougher photo shoot in order to achieve the images we needed. It's always nice having that feeling that you know you can rely on your gear to get you through harder photo shoots like this. This is so happy. <laughs> Look at Mug and he's like, come on, grab your stuff, let's go. That is all we have for today's photo shoot in this really special part of Australia. This is so nice. Thank you for showing me around. Oh, it's to all these pleasure. beautiful spots. I loved it. Let me know, let us know which ones are your favorite photos in the comments. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you all next time. Bye. Yay.